Hello friends, welcome to our channel Entrance Advisor. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Today, I am here to describe the NCRT syllabus for class 11 biology. Here are the units and the chapter names of the whole syllabus. The syllabus is divided into five units. The diversity in the living world, the structural organization in plants and animals, cellular structure and functions, plant physiology, and human physiology. The detailed explanation are as follows. The chapter 1 includes the living world. What is living? Biodiversity, need for classification, three domain of life, taxonomy and systematics, concept of system species and taxonomical hierarchy, binomical nomenclature and tools for study of taxonomy, museums, zoos, herbaria and botanical garden. The five kingdom classification that is the biological classification includes the salient features and classification of monera, protista and fungi into major groups that is lichens, viruses and viroids. The plant kingdom classification includes the algae, biophyrots, and pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. And the animal kingdom contains from non chordate up to the phyla level and chordate up to the classes level. The unit 2 contains the structural organization in plants and animals. The tissues and the anatomy and the functions of different parts of flowering plants such as roots, stem, leaves, inflorescence, cymos and racemos, flower, fruit and seed. And animal tissues include same as the plant morphology, anatomy, functions of different systems. Of an insect such as cockroach. The next slide uh, is as following. The cell structures and functions. The cell theory, as the cell is a basic unit of life, the structure of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, plant cell and animal cell, cell envelope, cell membrane, cell wall, cell organelle, structure and function, endomembrane system, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, vacuoles, mitochondria, ribosomes, plastids, microbodies cytoskeleton, cilia, flagella, and centrioles. And at last, the nucleus with their nuclear membrane, chromatin, and nucleolus. The chemical constituents of the living cells, which is the biomolecules, contains structure and function of the proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, enzymes. Along with the enzymes, you need to know the types, properties, and enzyme action. Now, the chapter 10 includes the cell cycle, mitosis, and meiosis along with their significance. Plant physiology, the, uh, which is the unit 4, you need to know is the transport in plants, the movement of water, gases, and nutrients, cell to through, cell transport, diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport, passive transport, osmosis, etc. along with the diffusion of gases. Mineral nutrition includes essential nutrients, macro and micro, and their role. Deficiency symptoms include mineral toxicity, elementary idea of hydroponics as a method to study the mineral nutrition, nitrogen metabolism, nitrogen cycle, and biological nitrogen fixation. And the last unit includes the human physiology. Human physiology is about the excretion, digestion, absorption, then coming to the breathing and respiration and the body fluids and circulation, breathing and, and at last locomotion and movement and neural control and coordination along with the chemical coordination and integration in the last chapter. Thank you.